Hi, welcome to a new video. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about my new little camper van. Um, well, basically, instead of converting one this time, I've bought one pre-built. So let me just show you, which is this little thing. Now, yeah, this is a bit of a joke, it's a bit of fun. Um, basically, this video is more to do with talking about what's coming up on the channel this year, you know, and everything else. So I hope you stay with me by doing this little wooden puzzle that the missus got me for Christmas. So we'll get on with it, shall we? Yeah, well, first of all, like I say, this is just a wooden puzzle that was bought from Team U. I think it was about 14, 15 quid, something like that. Um, and yeah, it's just a little camper van, looks like a VW, but we're going to build that. So let's get in it anyway. So there is, I think, 200 and some odd pieces. Now, if you know me, I like doing Lego as well. So this is a bit of fun. And um, to be honest, I'm filming this on New Year's Eve and I've put it off until then because unfortunately my hands haven't been the best. And as well, yeah, you know, uh, again, sorry about not having that much content because the, like the last video that came out that was filmed in uh, the beginning of December um, and just I haven't been able to get out. But there is more coming on the camper van, some tips and everything else. You know, I've got about, what, 15, 20 ideas to do on that as well. So we're going to get that done. So these are the little things. They're just like, like basic laser cut bits. I assume Oh, this will be a bit of fun. Yeah, we've got instructions on there. Like I say, a lot of this will be fast forwarded and me just talking over bits. Ah, another sheet. All right, so that is your proper instructions there. So yeah, gives you an idea there, but then that gives you a breakdown of the parts. So let's pop all these out. Oh, I'm done. Right, you don't do it in the I order, you do it with the different parts. So we want D1, voiceover Kevin here. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thanks for all of you that have taken the time to have watched, liked and commented on my videos and also subscribed to the channel and I hope you all had a nice Christmas and wishing you all the best for 2024. Well, for anybody that's new, the main aim of this channel is to document my travels in a Peugeot partner camper that I'd converted a few years ago. And I'm an amateur photographer, so I like to take photos wherever I go and also give tips to do with the camper. But I want to expand this channel into other the subjects the only problem doing this is that this can lead to people unsubscribing as I'm putting out videos that some people may not want to watch if they're subscribed to do with the other content but really I do want this channel to be as varied as possible so if the next video you see me put out isn't to your liking don't unsubscribe just don't watch it um, and there will be a new, new one next week that you will probably like think of it like Netflix you watch one TV show and then the next big TV show comes out and you don't just unsubscribe from Netflix, you just don't watch that one. So hopefully you will stay with me. So let's break down the ideas that I have. They're all in chapters anyway, so you can skip ahead while watching me, you know, build this little camper. One of the most popular video sections that I have is my tips. This is giving personal advice to do with having and using a small camper. This is the one side of the channel I want to expand on as I've been creating a list of ideas and at the moment I've got over 20 ideas wrote down. So if you have any other subjects that you would like me to cover please leave suggestions in the comments as it's always great to have feedback and ideas. And with this type of videos they really don't take me that long to film and even edit. So if you're interested please stay tuned for this one. Though the main videos I do enjoy doing is the actual vlogging ones about the trips that I take and though to be honest these have a lot less views than the tip videos. Um, though I don't do YouTube directly for views i do them because really it's something i enjoy doing so if you enjoy my content please like the video and if you aren't aren't already please subscribe as it really does help out my channel and this youtube algorithm unfortunately 2023 wasn't the best year for me to get away you know even for a few nights in the camper and um, this was due to several factors the main one was due to my health and not being able to drive that far which does really restrict the type of trips i want to do but also work commitments and also just general life that's got in the way and as this some level as of last summer I couldn't get away that much as my daughter and her partner moved out which meant helping them get their new place ready from decorating to just general helping out and also at the same time they actually moved out well a week later and my daughter gave birth to a 
a son. So this year I became a grandfather. So trust me, that was a hectic time. This year though, I have set myself a challenge. No matter what, I want to get away in the camper every two weeks. This may be just one night, but now more than two. The trips I've been doing mostly are to do with the landscape photography side of it, because that's one thing I do like. But while I do enjoy getting up early for the sunrise, which that's one thing I won't stop because it's an amazing time to get out in the morning. These I think don't make best trip videos because it is just more photography. Um, so I want the trips to be a bit more like history based. So each trip I will be visiting like an historic place of interest because I'm a member of both English Heritage and National Trust. And last year really I haven't you made the most out of that membership. So this year I will. Um, this is to make it more interesting trips. And to be honest, as there's not as much walking around a, like a stately home. I also want to do a few local one night stays in the camper. Um, but these are like the stealth ones that you see other people doing as well. Now, like in a supermarket car park, a residential street, as with my camper, I can definitely get away with it. And industrial parks. I you know, even had an idea of stopping in a hospital car park because a few months ago I had to go for an MRI very early in the morning and I thought it'd be the perfect time to actually do it. But I just didn't have the confidence in doing it. These will be just about stopping in the camper. For each trip, I separate that out into several videos. Um, this is so I can work ahead, i.e. if I film one trip in just one video and I'm going away every two weeks, that means there's only one video out every two weeks and YouTube doesn't like that. And also, it stops me stressing about getting things to a timeline so I can work in advance so then I've got a few weeks before I need to worry about the next video, if you get what I mean. Well, let's talk about my health because if you've seen some of my videos or you don't know, um, basically I have a spinal problem. I have two um, I mean, I'll go into a little bit detail here, but um, I have done a complete video that I'll link in the top here and in the description. So like I say, the main two problems is a bulging disc in my neck and I've got a degenerative disease of the lower spine. Unfortunately, this causes me to be in constant pain. Um, you know, it is medicated and I'll put on screen now the amount of tablets that I have to take daily. But the main problem this causes is with walking, to be honest, because for any sh more than a short distance, I have to walk with a stick. You know, that helps me walk and support my body. But the days I can't even get out of bed due to the pain. But I try and not let it affect me as much as possible. I really do like the outdoors and I do want to get out. But it isn't just the spinal problem that affects my walking because it affects my legs. That means driving can be difficult. So even if I did drive, somewhere say for two hours i may not be able to get out of the camper for an hour or two to have a walk around which one i don't like and two it doesn't make as good content because i won't may not be able to get out i mean if you see one of my last videos where i, I failed in the peak district because i actually walked further than i should and but i do try, like as hey i do try and do these trips but i do have to do a lot of planning ahead on the subject of videos i want to do some occasional videos i'm really how i edit my um, videos and even my photos which to be honest I really enjoy doing the video editing and I've edited videos for years since the kids were little you know with the old camcorders and everything else and over the years used different stuff to air but the last um, few years I've been using a program called DaVinci Resolve now if anybody doesn't know that it's actually there's two versions there's a free version and there's a paid single you know single payment version and between the free and the paid version there isn't that much of a different most people would be able to to get away with the free version there's a load of tips out there already but i want to just give my take on it and while talking about editing to put it into perspective for the average 20 minute photography or trip video that i do this normally takes me anything between around about 10 and 15 hours to actually edit including the b-roll voice over choosing the photos i put in the video etc but really i don't mind this as because of the health my health means that i can't do that much and i sometimes can't get out of the house i don't sleep that much watch means like in the middle of the night or whatever I can just come into the office which is basically the spare room edit these it gives me something and makes me feel like I've accomplished something on the subject of the office you know because my daughter moved out I've converted the old her old bigger room into a bigger office which I've tried to convert into a little YouTube studio so I can do some filming at home um, I have done a video on 
the start of that, the first part is already out. The second part I'll get round to editing because that was building custom furniture and bits and pieces. I mean, the same as the video editing. I'm going to share how I edit my photos. This is one thing that really does take me time. As, like I say, I'm an amateur photographer and have been since my teens. I mean, if you take one of my normal videos, on average I share around about 10 photos. But, you know, in that, out in that, that time, I may have taken two to 300 photos. I just like taking photos. That's the thing. It's the enjoyment of doing it. That leads me to other video ideas that I have. And because of the times that I can't actually get out, outside, and like I say, photography is a passion of mine. I want to do some studio photography, like macro, like the close-up stuff, you know, and unusual things, because that's something I really enjoyed doing in the past. It's just been put on the back burner because I do more of the landscape. But I find this kind of photography sometimes more enjoyable than the landscapes. And then you've got complete control of the lighting objects, etc. And the real source can be fun. Like the other day, I was sorting out the loft, found an old motherboard with all the capacitors and the chips and you know the heat sinks and everything else. So I got a little RGB light, started taking photos and it, it made it look really surreal and abstract. So I do actually that one as a video, but I've got loads more ideas, water droplets and smoke and bits and pieces. Again, I've done all these in the past, but not really videoed them. I mean, I'll put some pictures on screen now of the kind of things that I've done in the past now in these unusual photos. The subject of small items, you know, one of the types of photos that I like taking is Lego minifigures. You may have seen these in some of my videos. I mean, not everywhere I go. I take a selection of Lego minifigures with me from the small ones, the normal size ones, to a slightly larger torch, like keyring ones, to then the clocks and a bigger torch. And they're around about eight to nine inches tall. So that gives a better perspective when taking them out. So yeah, it is a bit sad, a grown man taking these out and taking pictures. But again, um, I want to do a bit more toy photography. I mean, with the Lego photos, over the years, I've got at the moment around about over 2,000 images. And I don't really share those that much. So what I'm going to start doing is probably putting those on Instagram because I don't really use social media that much. Um, but I'm going to really start to. So if you want to see more of that, follow me on Instagram. I'm also going to try and do like Twitter. Well, it's now X, isn't it? And um, threads. And I've also got a Facebook page. Also, the one thing I want to do is do reviews of like the items that I have, products that I've actually bought myself. These aren't sponsored or given to me or anything else, whether this is for photography or for the camper. In the same vein, I want to do a quick video on the gear that I use to take out and take these videos and the photos, what I carry around with me and everything else. I mean, as you can see, I'm doing this wooden model at the moment, but I enjoy doing like any crafty things and building Lego. I've got a load of those like knockoff Lego set. I've got a few to actually do. And also there's a lot of printable like paper craft things. There's this guy that did printable sheets to make older 3D models of like computers like the old Atari ST and Amigas. Now that is my day, you know, it's showing my age now. The monitor and stuff like that. So again, maybe a fun little video. And I mean, these videos will be every so often. So I'm not make up the main content of the channel. The main subject is the camper van and the camper van trips. Well, let's get on to you about YouTube. Um, I mean, unfortunately at the moment, the way the YouTube algorithm is now, you know, it's hurting smaller channels like myself. Without going into technical details, the algorithm is like a bit of software in the background of YouTube that recommends videos for you to watch based on the type of videos you watch and subscribe to. But unfortunately, YouTube seems to favor the larger channels in this. Um, but this can mean that even if you subscribe to my channel, you may not even see my latest video in your feed. And they're starting as well last year to push the short. These are those vertical videos that are like less than a minute long, more than the longer form content. But that makes up the bulk of the kind of videos that I like and that I try and put out. And again, that's one thing is you do have to keep putting out videos on a regular basis because if you don't again you drop down those rankings kind of thing you may have seen other youtubers talk about this as well because it's affecting a lot of us unfortunately there's not that much we can do at the moment though if you are watching any of my videos make sure you click that like button if you did like it because that does help also if you subscribed make sure you're clicking on that little bell icon that makes sure that you do get those notifications when my videos actually come out and if you do really like my content and you want to share it with others please 
Now share it on your social media because again, your friends may like the kind of same kind of content I'm doing. Because I mean, most people think you do actually make money from YouTube videos. Well, yes and no. I mean, first of all, to even earn money from YouTube, you have to have over a thousand subscribers and so many watch hours. Now at this moment in time, I've got, I think just under 750 subscribers. So at the moment, I'm not earning any money off YouTube, um, but I do these YouTube videos really just to share my passion because the it's a, a turnaround if you know what I mean because the blog I used to when we ever we went out I used to write about it put the pictures on there you know maybe do a little clip that I'll upload to YouTube 30 second clip to show wherever we've been but now it's it's reversed it's actually YouTube is taking center stage and then when the videos come out I write a quick description and slap it you know with the link onto the, the blog I mean though if you do really appreciate my content and everything else I've set up ways that you can actually donate either using PayPal or Kofi and I may in the future look at Patreon but I'm not too sure about it. but I mean any money that I do get it's the same with any money that I get from the vlog it goes back into that I don't basically earn a profit off it if you know what I mean so it'll go back into fuel camera accessories you know bits and pieces like that. and also in the process of setting up on my blog a way that you could order prints like select photos from um, the videos that I do I'm going to try and do those so that you personally print and sign those and I'm going to do those at home or to the size of A3 the larger sizes I will be able to probably do it on a special order um, I'm just not sure of prices so watch this space for that so I mean as you can tell I've got loads of different ideas for videos so there will be content really for everybody so again if you see something you don't like of mine just don't watch it because there'll be something else because I'm trying to cover everything really again it's just my passion all the, the hobbies that I have and everything else and I just want to share it with others well that's enough of me going on about that so now back to me actually finishing off this model well thank you for watching this little video as you can see it's not a bad little model it's been a bit of a pain um, for me you know because of my hands and everything but yeah I mean it's not too bad there's a bits I broke which is the uh, mirror there as well as I forgot to put two curtains in and uh, the front bits just come off there. So I was going to do that. The one thing is that roof part, um, that bit sticks on, this bit just kind of rests on and it doesn't clip in right. And so I'm not too sure. So what I might do is just glue that. And the one thing, I don't like the little flower there, but yeah, I mean, it's not a bad little model really. Um, like I say, you know, it's a bit of a fun video, this, just to explain what was going on. But again, you know, building this, I think it's took me about three odd hours in total, you know, to actually do it. Um, but yeah, a little bit of fun. To be honest, I'd prefer to have done a proper camper. But yeah, a little bit of fun. I mean, you do have some nice details. You have the opening doors, you know, as you can see there. That one's a bit stiff because of where it broke. But then you've got nice a nice full interior. I'll show some shots of that. You know, the boot. Um, opens as well it's like on a little mechanism so that comes out you know like I say the de details and things there you've got moving wheels yeah um, the bits that was the problem was all of this which is the corrugated um, parts I'll try and show you here you can see where it actually split where I was trying to get it in and like as I had that problem there I mean that's more probably to do with my hands and not being able to grip but you know it is it went in the tolerances were okay on it for a cheap little thing you know it's not bad I've done wonder models before you know not as detailed as this I do like the color on this one as well because the other ones I've painted myself and everything else but yeah I mean not a bad little model like I say you know it'll look nice you know on display and everything else so yeah it's 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 nice nice little thing anyway so yeah i mean if you if you're interested you know like i say links in the description for this um and as well you know it's all it'll make someone's that is into camper vans or anything else that is into model making or anything else just a bit of fun really you know this is going to go on display somewhere so again thank you for watching this one and i hope you stay with me into the new year and beyond so goodbye for now bye